everybody. It's Loveline. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew over there. Phone number, 1-800-LOVE-191. What's that in the background? It's like cameras. Is this Girls on Film? It's a copy I got. Oh, really? What the hell is that? All right. Wow. Hey, James? Hey, how you guys doing? Good, good, buddy. What's on your mind? Well, I just wanted to say real quick, during the uh, commercial, I couldn't help but laughing because the local station played your your favorite public service air turbulence announcement. Oh. And I, uh, I was listening to that, and I couldn't help but snicker. I figured you'd appreciate that. Yeah. Your, your body is... Uh, Meant to, to do a lot of things, uh, like football. Meant, but it's not meant to endure unexpected turbulence. Right. Yeah. Tell that to um, the uh, Broncos wide out at Cafferty. <laughs> Bumping. <What the> hell? <laughs> <laughs> Shaving. Yeah. Loud noises. Well, now, wait a minute. Hold it there for a second. Can you hold it? Loud noises, I think, cause uh, more damage to uh, yeah. the human body than uh, air turbulence yes. does. Yes, it does. It's deaf. You go deaf. Mm -hmm. I keep going here. <laughs> Childbirth. Oh, no? Which, oh, is, hold which on. is one of the leading causes of death and disability <laughs> through, through history. Through oh, history. Historically, Drew, seriously, be honest. As a doctor, more people die giving birth or from airplane turbulence? Historically. Oh, it's such a close number. It's close, isn't it? Let's see. It would have been in the billions, billions of history being to uh, <laughs> coming to, to to what? Almost six? Zero. Now? zero. <laughs> I keep going. There had to be two or three people that died from airplane turbulence. No, you would have heard about it. Well, there could have been something from '88 that we didn't hear about. Some flight attendant that had a pre-existing condition or something. What's <laughs> all? All right, stop. All right. All yeah, right. Did you notice the flatline sound afterwards? Yeah, football. <laughs> very prophetic. How many people died? You know how many people died from football this year so far? Just in uh, training camp from the uh, heat stroke and stuff? There's been like 10 people have died. Yeah. Yeah. How many from airplane turbulence? All right. What else? What else you got on there? Football. Football. Bad cooking. Food poisoning. Rollerblading. Marathons. Even... Company meetings. Uh huh. But there's something the human body isn't built to what? withstand. What could this be? Unexpected turbulence. Oh, my the goodness. are built to withstand that really well. <laughs> yeah, all right. you have to do is wear your safety belt the entire time. You're what? You're what? So next time Wait a minute. I hope they describe how to use that instrument when you get on the plane. Drew, you're what talking. I couldn't hear what he told me to wear. To wear the what? Built for it. Some kind of harness apparatus you put over yourself when you're in the airplane, perhaps. No. Yes. Apparently. Yeah. Uh, uh, is there a number we should call to find out what the F seat belts are? How's that go? They really want us to follow up on that? Hey, I heard your poignant uh, yet meaningless PSA on airplane turbulence. Uh, I heard you speak of a seat belt. What could this be? And, and perhaps you ought to ask the, what are they called, flight attendants to perhaps describe the use of these when you're on the plane. And maybe they could even check to make sure you're wearing them. Impossible, Drew. Impossible. Next thing you know, you're going to be saying there's going to be light-up placards that suggest you put your seat belt on. Yeah, you're check living you. in some sort of fantasy check land. when you're sleeping. All right. Here's all I'm saying. The world's most worthless PSA I have ever heard in my entire life. It's wow, where do you keep your wallet? My hip Up your ass, you uh, mutt! That was number two. That's number two. Okay, thank you, James. And listen, if, if anybody knows anybody who's involved with this airplane turbulence PSA and they have balls enough to uh, call this show, I would love to talk to this person and try to get some of my tax money back from them.